Hey, I want to share with you guys today something I call the manifestation diet. Something that uh, came to me after meditation one day. I was taught, thinking that everything has been kind of hard, you know, lately to manifest the things that I want. It feels like I have to struggle a lot to feel feelings of gratitude and appreciation and all the other vibrations or emotions that it takes to attract the things you want into your life. So. I uh, had kind of an aha moment. I realized that when your body is well, when your body is full of health and wellness and vitality, that all those emotions flow easily, a lot easier. I think it's almost automatic, the, depending on how well you feel in your body. And once you feel that wellness, that energy, you know, in your body, you know, you're just naturally going to be in a higher state, a higher vibration, which means that you should actually easy more easily attract the things that you want into your life kind of effortlessly you know so instead of trying to affirm things and create things from a place a feeling of like you know low energy things like that i'm going to reverse it i'm going to start with my body first feeling good first and allow those other things to come after so i wanted to share with you some of the things that i'm going to do in order to do that and i i've been doing this already for two or three weeks and I have manifested a lot of things that I, I things that I didn't even consciously try to manifest really great things it's actually a lot of things that have happened in the last two or three weeks that I'm really excited about so excited to see what keeps what happens as I keep going so really quickly some of the things that I'm doing right now is sleeping before 10 a.m. And I think it's Ayurveda that they talk about that. Sleeping before 10 a.m. in that sleep cycle is best for your body. And if you can get to sleep before 10, I would say late is 11, but 10 is, is prime. You'll get up naturally somewhere between 5 and 7. And you'll be fully rested. Your body will get an opportunity to balance the horm hormonal balance, you know, detoxification, all the things that go into um, that happens in your body and spiritually while you sleep. And that's probably one of the most important things if not the most important thing when it comes to um, regaining health and vitality in your body the next thing we're gonna do is drink half your body weight in water and that's I would say probably almost as important as the sleep well probably just as important as the sleep drinking half your body weight in ounces so if you're 200 pounds you want to drink 100 ounces a day I drink this in a day it's about 75 ounces so I drink a little bit more than one of these and I'm telling you when you do that I, I used to tell people to do that alone and they would lose weight naturally you know they can just do that for a few weeks and naturally lose five to ten pounds because most of us are walking around here dehydrated and when you're dehydrated you're sluggish you're slow you're tired and you retain water you gain weight you know your metabolism slows down so water those two things alone will make a difference in your life if you're not doing them so we're going to add a couple other simple things to that list. Um, a nap, continue with the sleep. Some people have uh, adrenal problems and you really need to nap. So you can take a midday nap, no more than 20 to 30 minutes, because after 30 minutes you go to a deep sleep and uh, it's going to be hard for you to get going after you wake up. So 10 to 30 minutes, I would stick around 10 to 20 minutes. Um, also. We can do a five minute walk in nature. For people that don't want to meditate, walking in nature is a great way to clear your mind. So this is gonna get the mental stress out of you, you know, quiet your mind and lessen the stress that comes from overthinking. And plus you also get some energy from the exercise. So that's two that's two things. Less stress, which increases your energy, and a little exercise that increases your energy. do a part two about more advanced things we can do. I hope this works out for you guys like it's worked for me.